Okay, so today we're going to look at how to add a portfolio gallery to your striking theme in WordPress. So this is one that um, I've created for a customer, and you can see how he's just got everything, everything here. No names, no titles, no descriptions, no read more buttons or anything like that. But what he does have is um, paging. So you can see just the boat sheds he's built, or if you want to see just the decks and pergolas, you can see that as well. Okay, well you can see them all. So that's called paging. Now each one of these that we create need a separate portfolio category to be created for it. If you just want one portfolio page, then you don't need to go ahead and create all these categories. You might just have one category in your portfolio called My Gallery. Okay, so we've got to go and create a category in the portfolio. So what we do is we navigate down to just under Comments, there should be a box there called Portfolios and within portfolios there's a box called categories now here's a couple that I've created for my laptop screen site you know and it's a bad display output for example okay so what we do is we create that portfolio so just simply put whatever you want there um, you might put on tray and then keep the, the the SLUG the same and the description the same for now with no parent you add portfolio category and it'll show up over here and then we add posts to it or we add pictures to it later okay so now we're going to have a look at adding a portfolio picture to it so we go over to add new just above categories so create the category first and then go and add a picture to the category okay so now we can go ahead and we can add a picture so what we do is we can upload it from our desktop or we can um, we can select it from our media library, insert it from our media library. So you just go add image. You can do a bulk upload of all your pictures. Um, I can show you that later if you want. And we can select files from our computer or we can go to our media, media library and select the file that we want to be shown in the portfolio. Okay. So say I just wanted um, this bad to screen display here to be in the portfolio I click the show button and then I go down here and click use as featured image okay so it doesn't look like it's doing anything but it is it's saving down there and it's done okay so once you get to that stage just X out of there okay and if we go down a little bit you'll see here it's turned up here as the featured image okay now we get to select which category we want this to appear under so bad output display and then we can enter a title um, for the portfolio if we want. I'm not going to do it because I've already done this so okay but that's how you do it and then once you hit that add the title you can add the description um, down the bottom if you want descriptions under excerpt you can add description the description for the portfolio okay so once you hit that you hit publish and it adds it to the portfolio category once the portfolio category is right You've got you've got at least one picture in there. You can add pictures later, and it'll just keep adding to the to the to the gallery you've created. Okay, so you go over and under pages, we're going to add new page. You can call this whatever you want. You can call it gallery or anything you want. Um, and again, you can assign it a parent, just like normal WordPress, and select full width for this one instead of default template. Okay, now we go down to shortcode editor and I've already done it but we'll go down you get to choose one we'll go down and pick portfolio and there's here in the columns we can choose how many items we want to show up so if you just clicked one column they'd be rather large pictures all underneath each other um, four columns one is what we've done for able projects okay it's pretty simple you can turn the paging on and off and that the paging and the sortable is what will allow that function of showing different categories that you've created. If you've only got one category, you can just turn them both off for now. Under category, this is where you select which category you've just created. If I pick bad input dis output display, all the photos that I upload in the future will be uploaded to that category and be shown on the page. Just under that, we can choose whether we want to display a title, a description, a read more button. You can customize the text for the read more button, which is good for search engine placement rather than having read more. Once we've done that, click send to shortcode editor. Didn't look like it did anything, 
but up here in the box it sent this HTML shortcode. Once that's there, hit publish or preview and you're away.